I don't know how to vlog. Is this a good angle? I wanted to start a vlog to keep people updated on kind of what's going on. I've been getting a lot of new machines, which is something that I'll sort of touch on later, which are these two here. And this is what they look like when they're mostly assembled. I just built this one for uh, scale reference. And then also these two bigger ones, these were the ones that I was really using to kind of build out those profiles and the settings. But I seriously do want to say that I really, really appreciate everyone's support with this. It has been an insane like last six months and I'm able to start really pursuing this in a way that I haven't been able to. It has been difficult because I live in my own place and I've been working full time, which is also partially why things have been going uh, slower because I'm at work full time and I'm you know, getting up early to do this and doing it after work. So it's just a lot of work uh, within my day. So what's on the agenda for today? I don't know which lens I wanna use. Oh, I need to remove that. Oh, by the way, this is my workshop. This is where the magic happens. We've got like the main printers, some of my older machines. These are kind of the ones that I started with. It's another high speed printer. We've got some enders up there that are uh, producing pieces. And then there's these two new ones, which I already showed. But as I mentioned, I have those new high speed printers and I'm gonna put them on a shelf that goes across here. Why do I keep showing this? I'm not sponsored. <laughs> oh God, those lights went out. These are supposed to be on. Why? Oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. Ingenuity. Look how smart I am. I figured that out so fast. You see that? That was real time. Let's go. Hell yeah. Let's do it again without the stupid wheeze. Well, hey there. It's Blake from the future. Ooh. He's here to check in, see if you're doing okay, see if you maybe need like a drink or something. I, God knows I do. Uh, I'm stopping in to give a little bit of context. Actually, no. Just stopping in really quick to uh, beg for, uh, for maybe a like, maybe subscribe, maybe a share. Maybe, don't, don't hit the bell though. I, you don't have to know when I upload. Okay, bye. Okay, bye, I'm leaving now. <laughs> but I'm gonna put up a shelf right here uh, that's gonna basically match these. The problem is this is too far to the right. The shelf is gonna come out to about here. So I literally have to unscrew all this stuff, shift it over by like, I don't know, eight inches. And then I have to screw back in and put them all back up, which is gonna suck. And I also have to build this shelf with a lot of scrap wood. I'm literally just gonna be taking pieces like this and using some two by fours to just secure everything together um, because I'm not buying any more wood. So that's just one piece. I, I, I don't wanna spend that money. Oh, I also put some, some soundproofing foam. You can see a lot of beautiful lines in between. It's very, very fine, it's very nice. <laughs> Brother, <laughs> Another thing on the to-do list is to kind of add these big printed pieces to these Elogu machines. If you know anything about 3D printing, you're going to see that the edges warp because it's giant print. So, you know, really excited about that. Oh, this one warped too? Oh, no. It should still work. It's not supposed to be beautiful. Nothing here is beautiful. I mean, come on. It's, <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. It's a workshop, okay? No. No. This is what I'm constantly walking into. It just... Ugh. All right, let's get to work. I gotta cut these down with a hacksaw. Obviously, it would be better for me to do this with like an actual powered saw, uh, but I don't own one of those and I'm not gonna buy one, so <laughs> this is gonna have to do. But I will have to be super careful because this is a very exact uh, build. The dimensions are really important. So I'm using these very nice, well-measured lines to uh, kind of plan out my attack here. Is this a good angle? Can y'all see? Can y'all see my, my work here? Here we go. video of the monkey and the saw in the forest sometimes when I do this I feel like that that monkey
Ah. Woo. All right, I'm thinking it's gonna go together something like this, but I have to first put these in the wall because these are drilled directly into the studs behind here. And so I have to kind of figure out first where they're gonna be at because I have to make sure that they line up with these so they don't overlap and I have some kind of issue. Okay, I got these up, so now I can actually figure out where to put those two by fours on the underside of the shelf, basically just like this. And then I'm gonna have to switch focus on which project I'm doing uh, because it's like eight, almost 8.30 and I don't wanna wake up my neighbors with my really loud hammer drill. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 8.19 p.m. Sorry neighbors. I really don't want a noise complaint. That would suck. It like, there's gaps. I don't know if you can tell. There's gaps underneath. Like this is looks like a big gap. I don't know if it's actually going into the wood. <gasps> oh, I just got a really smart idea. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Hold on. Okay, now we're actually done. No more of that. The next melding. We're back at day two. Definitely didn't oversleep. I definitely didn't, you know, stay up too late and then sleep in. It's actually four in the morning right now, as you can see. I built the printers last night. So that part of it's done, but there's still a whole lot to do. I'm just trying to think of it. Honestly, I probably have to walk around to see all that there is to do. First thing is to move all these printers off of here and then we'll move the shelf. And that's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited for it. Okay, now before I put the screws back in this, I'm gonna move the other shelf in here because I want it to be like lined up perfectly. I don't want like a weird gap. Wouldn't it suck if these were in the wrong place if I did this wrong yesterday? Hey. Okay, now we can do something really fun. Can't wait to show you this. So the smallest size that these carpentry screws uh, come in is one and a quarter inch. I like these screws because they're really strong and they don't need holes. They don't need to be pre-holed. So you could just drill them with a hammer drill directly. So I love using them for like everything that involves wood. The problem with something like this is that they very clearly go all the way through the wood. So now I've got a Dremel and I just have to go through and trim all of these metal ends to these screws and cut them all down which uh i hate doing because i'm scared of spark So before I continue, I've actually got to uh, go buy a couple of those outlet extension things because I'm all out of them. I didn't realize. So I've gonna, I need to get two of them so that I can actually plug all these printers in. Ah, perfect. All right, something I forgot I was doing, I'm actually gonna be mounting these spool holders on the wall because otherwise it's too tall and it won't actually sit on the shelf. So I got these things in uh, way harder than I was expecting. As you can see, I did a pretty good job, pretty clean, definitely not scuffed at all. Definitely didn't mess up the wall. So now we're actually ready to get those printers put up here.
Now that my belly is full, I am ready to return to work. And there we go. It's all in a day's work. <laughs> I love this. I think this looks amazing. I'm really excited because of just the efficiency that these printers are going to bring. I know they're printing slow right now. They do that during the rafts and uh, the first couple layers. The same with these ones here. But once they move up to the higher layers, they go a lot faster. Blake from the future here. Editing Blake is here. Uh, it's actually been three months since I recorded that. I waited to edit and post these videos because I was on backward at the time. But seriously though, thank you for watching if you made it this far. I really do appreciate it. I have a lot more coming down the pipeline, a lot more that I have already recorded that I am now starting to edit and then I will be posting those long forms here on the YouTube channel and then shorter forms uh, throughout the social medias, little clips and stuff like that. So please make sure to like this video. Make sure to share this video as well, perhaps. I didn't have an outro, so I had to record one because I'm like <laughs> not very good at this. So. so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'll be here editing in my little chair. Oh, well, hey there. <laughs> oh.